back to the comment section. I'm Brett Cooper. Recently, I have noticed yet another TikTok trend that we can talk about today. And even better, it is centered around dating and relationships. My favorite because TikTok gives us incredible, often terrible TikTok and relationship information. But I honestly don't know how I feel about this because in some ways I agree with the principle of the trend. And yet in other ways, I find myself disagreeing heavily. There's a lot of nuance here as there usually is with relationship things. But today we are talking about whether you are the golden retriever or the black cat in your relationship. I know that that is confusing and it makes no sense, but that's TikTok for you. We're going to break it all down. Before we do, though, make sure that you like this video, subscribe to the channel if you have not already, and ring that notification bell so that you never miss a comment section episode. To start this breakdown, I think we just need to jump in head first. We're going to watch one of the leading forces behind this trend on TikTok, a creator by the name of Anna Christina. And every other video that's been created about this is really just an offshoot of what she said in these first videos. Okay. Women are never happy in their relationships and marriages if they end up chasing their men. That's why you want to become the black cat and he's the loyal golden retriever chasing you. Black hat, golden retriever. Black hat, golden retriever. Black hat, her golden retriever. You know what I would love? I would love to see a combination of Jack Max green line theory and the box theory and the claw theory mixed with the golden retriever black cat theory. If you don't know what I'm talking about, good for you. You are not chronically online. But if you do know, you see how this could start to work together. Basically, all of this is just social media terms for why relationships work and who is dominant in the relationship. Like who holds the power, who is chasing who, there's different ways to describe it. Black cat and golden retriever is just another one. And even though these labels don't really make sense at face value, it does sort of make sense instinctually. Like when you look at the pictures of those couples, you can't, I don't even know, it's so weird. And I think that that is why it blew up because people including myself were obviously instinctually interested in it and sort of got it, but then we're also trying to figure out the specificity of this and the similarities between the black cats and the golden retrievers that she was pointing out in these celebrity couples and what exactly it all means because she doesn't really explain it. But people were suggesting what they think it means in the comments. One person said, black cat energy equals dark femininity. That feels witchy and I don't really like that description. Somebody else said Tom Holland and Zendaya. That's a good point. It's like a very happy, upbeat guy who's like utterly in love with this supermodel girl. Maybe that's a way to describe it. Another person said, this is girl math. And girl math is... How would you even describe girl math? Girl math, as my producer just said, is the female excuses for why we do things. It's not actually mathematical, but it's the way that we rationalize our behavior and our relationships. So this person is saying that they think this woman is just rationalizing these relationships, whatever. So anyway, like I said, it blew up. People started to dissect it. They made other offshoot videos and she made tons of videos giving other examples. Bustle also took a stab at analyzing this trend and they took more of an opposites attract perspective, which I would say, is much easier to understand right away, but I don't think it's as substantial and I don't think it's really what she meant. Bustle wrote, are you more of a black cat or a golden retriever? TikTok might have the answer. And in the article, they described this theory like this. If you have a likable, friendly personality, you might end up with somebody a lot more chill and reserved than you are. Or if you like to keep to yourself, don't be surprised if you find a much more social outgoing counterpart. It is the typical opposites attract mantra, but TikTok calls this the black cat and golden retriever theory, where one partner has the enigmatic vibes of a cat and the other has the off the wall energy of the beloved dog breed. And that is all good and well, that's fine. That is a fine analysis. It's all subjective, really. It's social media. It's TikTok. It doesn't need to be that serious. And I know that that is true for a lot of people. Maybe it fits into this theory, but in my opinion, I don't think that's exactly what she meant. And I think that we could take this a little further. This is the English major in me. I'm like, let's dive even deeper. Let's extract all meaning from one line of a book. That's all I did in college. Reading is fundamental. One commenter said, piece of advice I always remember. He needs to love you more than you love him. Just a bit. Only way it'll work. Somebody else said, yes, an old woman told me that a relationship works better when the man likes the woman a little bit more. Okay, this is interesting. So now we're kind of getting somewhere. And this ties back to another viral TikTok from just a little while ago. Women will always put in effort in the relationship to make it work, whereas man has to feel fully invested in the relationship. And I know that some people might take offense to this, but I do think it makes sense. We're gonna talk about that in a bit, but I think it goes back to men's pursuit of women. But obviously people had a mixed response. One person said, in the early months of dating my now husband, my sisters always pointed out to me that this man is obsessed with you. Happily married, going on five years. Somebody said, so I need to expect my girl to love me less. Nah, reciprocation is way more important. If I'm not getting the same energy back, I don't want it. And I think that's where it gets a little dodgy because obviously you don't wanna be 100% pursuing somebody that has no interest in you. That doesn't feel good. I think it's more about the men taking initiative and putting themselves out there for the woman so that they feel safe and protected. I think that that's more what it is, not that she doesn't like you and you're chasing her. That would be a stalker. Let's not do that. Somebody else said I gave my ex everything and I'm single now. 
again, it's not black or white. Somebody else said a million times, true, I walked away from the person I wanted to spend the rest of my life with due to this. Women want to feel loved. And I am proud of you for doing that because that means that you have self-respect and you were not gonna waste any more of your time or energy on somebody that did not reciprocate it. But last comment, absolutely the reason I ended my five-year relationship, I put in all my effort, got none in return. Like the man that you are with should be obsessed with you. That is something that should be revered, that is cool amongst his friends, that he is, you know, 100%, 115% in. But I think what people are trying to get after and what this woman is sort of describing in the black cat golden retriever theory is the idea that a man should pursue a woman and that women want to feel pursued. It is natural. I mean, again, tying it back to the original video, it is as natural as one of my dogs chasing the cat down the road. Speaking of my dogs, we gotta talk about Rough Greens. Rough Greens knows that your dog's food is dead food. Your pet's health is just as important as your health, which is why you need to try Rough Greens. Rough Greens is a supplement that contains all the necessary vitamins, minerals, probiotics, omega oils, digestive enzymes, and antioxidants that your dog needs every single day. Things that they are probably not getting from their conventional kibble. And the best part about Rough Greens is you don't have to go out and find some new dog food. You can just sprinkle Rough Greens on their food every single day. It is an easy, accessible, affordable way to upgrade your dog's health. Rough Greens supports healthy joints, improves bad breath, boosts energy levels, and so much more for your dogs. We are what we eat, and that obviously goes for dogs too. So in the morning, when you're taking your supplement, you're taking your greens powder because you know you're gonna eat a cheeseburger later on in the day, think about your dogs. They're gonna be eating their kibble. They need their supplements too. The team at Rough Greens is so confident that their product will improve your dog's health that they are offering my viewers a free Jumpstart trial bag so that your dogs can try it too. And that classic free Jumpstart trial bag can be at your door in just a few business days. So go to roughgreens.com slash Brett or you can call 877-66-MY-DOG. Again, that is roughgreens.com slash Brett or again, 877-66-MY-DOG today. And speaking of chasing... That's where all of this comes into play. That's where playing hard to get comes from and saying that the chase is good for a man. Granted, I think that those games are irresponsible and immature, but they do come from a place of truth. They come from somewhere. Like in terms of male and female mate selection, if we go back to our biological roots, if we go back into anthropology, biological anthropology, all the classes that you probably took in college, women have more mate selectivity because the stakes are higher for us. And this sounds so harsh and technical, and I'm sorry, but women are choosing who they will be impregnated by, and whose child they will carry. This is nine months of their life. This is a huge toll on their bodies. We get one little egg a month. Men do not have those stakes. They are designed to sow the seeds. They can do that constantly, every day of their life, multiple times a day, for years and years on end. So they are competing for a shot with these women who are designed to be selective and careful. We see this in the modern landscape because to this day, women still control access to sex. And that is why men chase. And that is why you should want a man to be chasing you because that means that he finds you desirable literally in a primal biological way. Now, to take this out of this weird technical anthropological lens, here's a TikTok for you. It's more cultural. In the early stages, a man should pursue heavily. He should prioritize you. If he's not doing it, then trust me, he's not going to do it later. That's an important fact. If he's not putting the effort in at the beginning, why would you expect that he would do that later on? If he's not committing to you early on, why do you think that in five years you're going to be able to convince him to change your mind? What he was saying at the beginning, I think, is very true, which I know it's very complicated in our modern dating landscape. Chris Williamson, who I adore, he talks about this all the time because women say that they want to be pursued by men, but then there are so many Gen Z women that say, you know, just a man coming up to them and asking them out, they could see as a form of harassment. Like, I won't lie that it is a terrible, terrible landscape. Somebody said, I was told that feminine men seek attention and that masculine men seek to give you attention. I 100% agree with that. Somebody else said it makes so much sense. Rest in my femininity and let him do the work. And that's just another way to say that with a good, strong man who is masculine, who cares about a woman, in that situation, the woman is able to relax. She is able to let down her wall. She is able to be more feminine, doesn't have to feel as hyper independent and angry and stressed and protective because she has a shield around her. That's kind of what this commenter is saying, I believe. Going back to the black cat analogy, this does not mean that the woman needs to be cold or disinterested. She is just letting the man pursue her, letting him take the lead as he drives the relationship, at least in my opinion. That's what I'm getting from it. The girl Anna from the original video, after this all started blowing up, she finally made a follow up to explain what really makes a black cat woman. And some of these things I agree with, but some of it I'm like, oh, this is kind of superficial. So we're going to go through it and we're going to see what she really thinks about all of this. Number one, talk less and do less. <laughs> My producer and I were laughing about this because both of us are in committed long-term relationships. I'm about to get married. She's married. Neither of us shut up. We, we literally talk constantly, but also I think that that's something that they like about us and they admire it. So they are still being the golden retriever because they're like, oh, this is so great. I can't wait to hear what she says. So again, I don't think that this has to be <laughs> black and white. I'm going to stop and start this a lot, guys. You look like a clown. Stop doing so much. <laughs> I do agree with that. I do think that women should take a step back. I think that if a man is not showing interest, if he is not returning calls, texts, if he has not set up another date, let it go. Because here's the thing, if he wanted to, he would. That is a like pop culture statement, but I agree with it. If he wanted to, if he wanted to pursue, 
he would let it go, move on, put your energy elsewhere. Give your man some space so he can actually come your way. That is very, very difficult for me. And that is something that I've had to learn because I am so hyper independent because often it'll be like, you know, if something is not done in 30 seconds, I'll just do it, I'll, I'm just gonna handle it. I know how to do it best, whatever. No, it's like, he's completely capable. That is why I love him. That is why I'm marrying him. I should let him take that responsibility because he'll feel great about it because I respect him. That is, I do agree with that. That is incredibly difficult for me to do. If one person pulls away, the other person is forced to come their way. So every now and then, don't True. be available. If you want to become the mysterious black cat, you have to leave room for mystery. So don't always pick up the phone. Don't say yes to every single freaking dinner date or any single opportunity he's throwing at you. I think that's very fair. I, you know, set your boundaries early. If the person likes you, they'll work around them. That's totally, I mean, I get it. Preach. That is one of the reasons why just in general, you shouldn't be sleeping with somebody right from the beginning. You don't want to give all of the milk away before he has to buy the cow. That is one of my favorite phrases. I learned that in a John Mulaney stand-up special, one of his first ones. Like before you give up everything, before you give up all of your time and your energy and the most precious intimate thing about you that you can offer, Make sure that this person is actually interested, that they have a vested interest in you, that they respect you, all of that. So I do agree with that point. Learn to say no and prove to him that your life is just as happy, satisfied, and fulfilling with or without him in it. That's such an interesting thing. And that's the last point that I'm gonna make about this video because there are things that I agree with, there are things that I don't agree with. I think the basic premise of it, I agree with. I don't like the whole like be mysterious, dark feminine. I like what she's saying right here where it's let him know that your life is just as fulfilling without him in it. That's one thing that my fiance has mentioned to me before. And he said, you know, you have a fantastic life. You are completely capable. You are very independent. You have great friends. And he was like, I never want you to feel like your life is fine without me in it. Basically on a constant journey of improvement so that I know that he is always there, that he is the, you know, the best protector, the best leader, so that I don't ever feel like I don't need him. And I think that that is so admirable. And I like that she mentioned there. And that was never something that I really thought about until he mentioned that point blank. And I loved it. A lot of this does not apply to being in a long-term relationship or a marriage, because once you've already gotten the person and you're committed, then it should be more about a balance and, you know, a give and take, which is great. Sometimes you need to step up more. Sometimes the man needs to step up more. I think this is more about the initial stages of dating, the initial pursuit of the woman. I think we should keep it in that category. But again, the comments were conflicted. One person said, I did less and he left me. Well, maybe it wasn't the right relationship. Maybe you did too little. It's a balance. Again, it's not all black and white. That's why whenever we do these relationship episodes, I'm like, guys, some people's relationships are different. But based on principle, I do agree with a lot of this. Somebody else said, can you be a black cat and occasionally act like a golden retriever? And I think this is where it gets too deep. It's not really that complicated. We don't need to hone in on all the TikTok labels and let that drive our life. Just make sure that the guy is super into you and that he respects you and is pursuing you and that you respect him and revere him as a man and as a leader. I think that is the key. And I assume that that is what the original creator was trying to get across in her own colorful way. I think that she's using a fun analogy to describe the importance of men's pursuit of women and women's protection over her time and body. It's all anthropological to me. And I think that's the best way you can look at it. I hope you guys enjoyed that episode of the comment section and maybe even learned something new. Make sure that you like this video, subscribe to the channel if you have not already. And if you want some hopefully more uplifting content, you can follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and TikTok. See you guys next time.